doing the Ramaphosa new cabinet. I just want to go through with you on this one. And so I'll typically just uh, tell you about the ones who, the ones who we're not familiar with, uh, well, John Steinhazen, and I've put the ages for you to go through them. Uh, but let me let me tell you about Mzwanele. From the PAC, so he's, he's an Africanist, uh, the, he's a Pan-Africanist, and they've been championing for a long time, them and and uh, and uh, uh, it's 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 PAC that is a PEC and Azapo. They have got a pact that they formed. We spoke about it in the podcast that they are going for the land. This could be very strategic for for these guys because they have now gotten what this a, a minister called a minister called land reform and rural development. And so that is their age there. If you could see everyone's age there, uh, I want you to tell me what's so interesting about uh, what Mzwanele has achieved and the PAC and Azapo has achieved uh, for land reform and rural development. This is key, and it talks exactly about the things that they do. And um, I, I I can't wait to see how this is going to unfold. CV where Kwarube. Man, I'm massacring this one. So she's one of the young ones in the mid 30s. A few ones in the mid 30s, and uh, CV were very beautiful. CV were very soft spoken. CV was, so she's one of the six guys coming from the DA. People have been saying DA has actually lost here because the arrogance that they portrayed coming into these elections didn't actually work uh, because they still held their held their ground and they gave them only six positions in the ministries and uh, considering how many how many these these things are i mean the da has come out with with scraps from here uh, ifp got two and uh, ifp got two and good got one Runevald. Peter Hunewald got one. But let me go back to the list. So, Ino Kodongwana, 67. I don't want to speak much about him. I mean, these guys are in the 60s. Uh, all these guys, uh, Dion George, uh, Motualidi. I want to talk about the the new guys. Uh, Leon Kreba. He's 35. And he's a young one. And... Uh, Look, these 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 ones are interesting because they they are bringing new blood and and he's given home affairs. This is what the other guy wanted. <laughs> uh, the minister of sport uh, he wanted it, but he didn't get it because now the DA is going to to be in charge of home affairs. A lot of people are going to be fired. I can tell you straight away. A lot of people are going to be fired because of this minister. Those pro- those who've been doing corruption and been protected are mostly African, and they've been doing it, uh, being protected. Reports being protected. It's going to come to an end, and this 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 Leon Leon guy is gonna crack a whip. And and we look, I'm glad. Uh, I mean, all South Africans have been plagued by the home affairs. It's a it's a it's an exciting time for South Africans for this one. Doctor Nobuche Nkabani. Uh, she's going to <laughs> she's going to higher education. Man, this is very interesting. Let's keep seeing. Very interesting. Mamuluko didn't get anything. So Mamuluko is a Soweto born born girl, mid forties. She she came out of Soweto. She one of the things that came out from her is when she was seventeen. She she. She fell pregnant and she gave birth to a boy and she never looked back and she, she was a high riser ever since she started her ecology she was a high riser and now you could see she's been rewarded by the by this administration by uh, retaining the uh, human settlement minutes. I could be sure but I think she was she was in human settlements before. Uh, one of the disappointments of course is Gwedeman Tashi came back. Uh, 
La Mula, they changed the man. And well, this is more like a promotion for me. He's now doing international relations and cooperation. What Neldi Pando was doing. Good appointment. Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's a good appointment. Uh, we'll see as it unfolds. Tebing I remember Tebing Kadimeng's uh, tenor in the Polukwani uh, municipality. Her name is uh, Tebing uh, Simelani Kadimeng. She, she got into problems and yeah, she had death threats in Polukwani. And, 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 and recently she's, uh, she, well, she got divorced from her husband and now she's getting married to another guy and and she's 51 years old uh, she's not new to, uh, to 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 these positions of course let's go to marupin um, now this is this is anc this is vintage anc uh, politics uh, where she secured this position because she's she's top six uh Kumbuzo comes back uh, she comes back uh, an interesting one is Senzum Kunu, 58. Well, she is, is virtually in his 60s. And I wonder what is going to happen uh, with all of this. Uh, because the KwaZulu Natal cabal that uh, lost favor, most of them uh, were not happy with with uh, Bekitele because Bekitele has proven to be uh, an arch rival of uh, Zuma of late. I don't know if they'll be receptive to Senzum Kunu because Senzum Kunu is, is full on, uh, uh, is full on, let me shift this, uh, Senzum Kunu is full on uh, a Cyril Ramaphosa guy. So I don't know how, how they will, they will they're gonna spin this one off. CCC uh, Dolashe. This one is it's one of those uh, appointments that uh, he's securing. He's securing his his uh, because she was his camp. Uh, this is the the ANC Women's League uh, president. Uh, Ramaphosa is securing all the protections there. And of course, uh, the general, the same way, the general didn't get the the full-on minister, and he was only awarded a deputy minister, is because all of these things are just showing you that they are trying as much as possible to secure themselves. They're securing pala pala. They're securing everything because these guys once become ministers their power increases and they're going to influence a lot of more more people and this is just trying to bury pala pala mm. uh, ifp deputy president um, zamo uh, well him and his president are are in here in this national government uh, to protect the interest of ramaphosa and whatever deals they made and we are very worried, and when I'm saying we, I'm talking about me and other people, we are very worried that they, including PA, have decided to join Ramaphosa and distance themselves from, from EFF and, and the other alliances. Well, as much as PAC was, was a disappointment, uh, I honestly feel that this this appointment of IFP has actually cemented the divide between MK and IFP, people that we thought they would work together and join EFF, but it didn't happen. Stellan Davin, mid forties, I I, I I don't I don't want to talk about her much. Uh, Pemima Jodina, she's got rewarded as well, Barbara Chrissy. Let me stop it here. Uh Pax Tau ANC. Pax Tau has, I mean, Pax Tau and David Maslow, uh, no, not David Maslow, woman. Uh, David, is David who? Those old Houteng chaps who do not want to go on retirement. Um, they just want to keep uh, milking it. I mean, these guys must retire. If they don't retire, a lot of our young guys are not going to get these positions. 
I mean, we've got a 39-year-old Dean McPherson, whip, cracking whip from KwaZulu Natal. This guy has has lot of potential, and he'll be in public works. You know, all these ministers look look uh, look like they are nothing, but there are people sitting in big monies in departments, and these changes are gonna bring you far-reaching consequences. Most of us, a lot of us, are going to be affected by all of this. And people are taking it for granted. Peter Hunewald, Correctional Services. <laughs> yeah, they're talking about Busasa. Uh, he's going to go there and, and, uh, and crack a whip on Busasa things. People who have stashed uh, Busasa files, he's going to, to get them out. But anyway... Uh, that's it. Uh, tell us what you feel about this. Uh, most importantly, about the age. Uh, what do you think about this age? ANC still brought in their big uh, crocodiles who are old and like Guedemantashe. I mean, where are you taking Guedemantashe? Papa Kisris is 66. Patricia Delil, 73. CCC is 64. Where where would these guys? Uh, Chikunga is 65. I've got no idea where they're bringing this. Up. But by, by by the way, these ministers and their deputies actually have proven to you that this government of national unity is nothing more but rewarding itself. And I don't feel guilty for telling them that Ramaphosa is rewarding them by these ministers because. If they were true, they would have reduced a lot of these things. It is still a big, it is still a big uh, cabinet, uh, saving useless positions there. I've got no idea why. Well, well, it's it's politics, by the way. Let's 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 not get our head twisted. It's politics, but anyway, I'm very disappointed with uh, with the number of people who are on this cabinet. Uh, I'm very disappointed because he did not reduce the, the cabinet significantly for us to even see the difference. He just kept these things going and he had deputy minister. You'd see, I don't care much about even the deputy ministers. I didn't even cover them. But there it is. This is the age of these ministers. Tell me what you feel about that. Machine and political incorrect. Thank you. Let's discuss. Shapsha.